following program is classified G. It's suitable for all ages. A very good evening and thank you for joining with us on another episode on Business Best and this is a platform where we showcase the best in the business and we will be introducing to you people who have excelled in their particular field in order to showcase their latest developments in their respective industry. Now as we all know Sri Lanka is a beautiful island filled with beautiful beaches as well but this, this company we are going to talk about today has identified a way of, you know, promoting nautical tourism and in a way where people can get a chance to engage in water sporting and also explore our beautiful beaches in Sri Lanka as well. So with that uh, introduction, I would like to introduce you to Mustafa Najmuddin, the CEO of Debug Auto Exclusive, or we can also call it DAE. Mustafa, thank you so much for taking the time to join me on the show today. Thank you, thank you, Shanali. Thank you for having me. So now to start off with Mustafa. Now, Debug has been in the business field for quite a long time, but this initiative we all have taken is quite new. So why don't you tell our viewers about what this product is all about? Sure. Uh, so actually, Shanali, we have, as you said, Debug has been primarily known as a computer in the computer or the IT business. This business, Auto Exclusive, also has been around for 10 to 12 years. It would, I would say, it started in about 2010, but we've only started sort of really taking it to the next level in the last three to four years. Uh, Debug Auto Exclusive, actually, I would say our main goal or vision is to be the enabler of one's uh, rovings. You know, we call ourselves the Explorer's Passage. Or it's about living the life. Uh, what we're trying to do here is uh, at the core of our business is, you know, experience, adventure, and that kind of thing, that, uh, the, that kind of lifestyle. So, um, sorry, uh, that that's our main mission. So uh, how it actually started was, as I told you, in 2010, it started as a hobby where we actually got down jet skis for our own personal use. And uh, at the time, there was no one representing SIDU in Sri Lanka. As a result, we had to become sub-dealers of uh, SIDU from Thailand so that we would have access to the diagnostic tools, uh, processes, etc., to maintain our own uh, jet skis. And at that time, it was during the war, so actually getting on the water, doing things on the water, was very difficult in Sri Lanka. It required a lot of approvals. It was a very bureaucratic process. So we never really thought of commercializing it. But we brought the jet skis down, and then as it went on, and the war ended in 2010, and then we had BRP come here and say, look, now what? Are you guys ready to do this as a business and take it to the next level? And we thought, why not? I mean, we it, it seemed like the perfect bet. Sri Lanka, as you said, was a beautiful island full of water, not just, I mean, not just our oceans and beaches, but a lot of our inland waterways, which are also not utilized and have a lot to offer. Uh, mm, sort of, that's how it happened. Uh, so we started selling jet skis from there, and that is how we actually got into the business. So what else does uh, DAU do? Does, do you all just sell jet skis? Or I heard that, I, according to my research, you all have a marina as well. Correct. Tell us a little bit about your club and what the services you all provide there. All right. So, so we started with SIDU jet skis as our main focus. And then from there on, it naturally, I mean, uh, we progress within the BRP family of brands. So BRP also has a brand, uh, does a brand called Canam, which is a leading off-roading brand globally. That would be ATVs and SSVs. Uh, we actually worked with Create Adventure, which is, uh, I think, South, the South Asia's first ATV adventure park based in Gampaha, helped them set up an ATV track. Uh, they have also now moved to Port City and have uh, a track there. So we have supplied the equipment there and worked with them on that. Um, uh, our plan is uh, from there we all from there we are sort of a natural extension into the boating uh, and marine. So I would say our core focus is our marine and power sports. So from SeaDo, what we found was, let me sort of break down the market. So when we actually got into the market in two thousand and ten. 
uh, it was primarily the rental operator market, that is the leisure operators who were renting out jet skis and they were using all sort of Japanese jet skis that they used to import. Uh, we were the first to bring down new units, bring it to the market with the professional sales and service team and uh, we started converting most of the rental operators to Sea-Doo jet skis. As it went on, we also had a few uh, friends uh, and family, etc. A few more people who started seeing this lifestyle growing a little bit and that look, we'd like to own a jet ski or we'd like to own a boat. But you know, there's really nowhere in Sri Lanka where you can uh, uh, use it, uh, th that you don't have the real infrastructure or services, we didn't have marinas at that time, you don't have public slipways, there wasn't the real knowledge of how to look after this, uh, look after your watercrafts, your boats, etc. So the maintenance the part. maintenance part of it, all of that. Uh, so what we did was in 2016 we took the plunge and we decided that we're going to actually build our own marina. So we built uh, our private marina in Bogota, on the Bogota Lake. Uh, where we store uh, where we store our members jet skis boats and we look after it for them uh, so that was how the marina actually came to be and then from the marina we found look you know there was th that gradually I interest was increasing but like i said it came back to you know people not knowing also how to use these watercrafts so where you can use it in sri lanka we don't have the proper legislation the approval processes are com uh, pretty complicated for being out on the water. Uh, each of these units that we bring down, you have to get approval from MOD. We have to register them with the Navy, and then we're going. When you're going out to sea for an adventure or whatnot, you have to submit passage plans. So there is a lot of bureaucracy involved. So we created this sort of DAE club of ours, where we actually uh, we were to promote this lifestyle in Sri Lanka. So the whole idea behind this was not to actually, we didn't want people just having a jet ski, keeping it bogged or using it in one place and riding it, riding around for a little bit. The thought process was behind, behind it was, look, we have such a beautiful country with so much, uh, uh, I mean, so much marine assets for us to explore. And we wanted to take clients out on the water, show them different parts of the island, what was there to do, where they could ride, uh, where it's safe to ride, I mean, uh, for example, we've done uh, we what we call our fun runs. So we've done them to uh, we've ridden from Gaul all the way to uh, Colombo. We've done whale watching. We've gone to Kalpitiya island hopping. Uh, we've done the islands in Jaffna, lagoons in Mana, uh, s and we've been using all this data to sort of compile a guide as well, which we're hoping to release eventually to the public. So that they can so so that more people sort of get into this. And then from there, we from jet skis, the natural progression was actually to boats. So after our clients got their taste of sort of this lifestyle, after people started getting a taste of this lifestyle in the water on jet skis, uh, we found sort of we found it picking up, and them wanting the interest progressively moving on to boats, smaller boats, bigger boats, which is generally the natural progression when people get into this lifestyle. Um, so we actually tied up with Group Benetton, which is a French boating group. They're one of the largest boating groups in the world. And they have multiple boats across different segments of the market. So when it comes to boating, I mean, you have various different kinds of boats for various different users and various hobbies from runabouts, which are general small boats that you use to run around in the lakes and the ocean, moving up to fishing boats or weekenders or even small yachts. Uh, so that's the direction that we've actually moved in. So yeah. these safaris, have you all already commenced this, or is it yet to be? Uh, so actually, Shnali, uh, yeah, on the safari part of things, uh, we are launching, we have actually launched uh, the jet ski safari concept, which is uh, differs a little bit from the traditional jet ski experiences that you get now. What we are moving on to is progressively longer experiences, longer rides on the jet ski, where it's not just a small ride, but where you actually ride to a place, you do something different and, uh, and have a different experience. Uh, we have uh, started with our safaris from the marina in Bogota. So we have three safaris currently, currently running from there. One is the shipwreck safari, which you ride from the marina to Thermophile Sierra, which is a shipwreck off the coast of uh, Moratua. So we take, uh, uh, we ride to there, you get in the water, snorkel around, so it's all shipwreck, lots of fish, and then ride back. There's another one where we do it to the port city and back. 
uh, which is about a bit of a longer ride. That's about 80 kilometer round trip. It takes about three, three and a half hours. It's absolutely stunning because you see, get to see the whole coast of Colombo from Panadura all the way up to Port City and then back. Then we do another one to the Kalutara. Uh, to the Kalutura Bodhya. So we actually ride from Bolgoda to and into the Kaluta, uh, Kaluganga, uh, ride up to the Ma Bodhya. So it's, it's, you get to see it in a different light and then ride back. All these trips include stops along the way where we get into the water, have a little swim, enjoy everything that the water has to offer. That is really amazing, Mustafa, mm. and it's uh, perfect, I would say, for the adventurers out there. But before we continue with our discussion, we'll have to go into a short commercial break, and after that, I'm pretty sure our viewers who are watching this would want to know how they can engage with your expeditions as well. So before that, let's go into a short commercial break. We'll be back soon. You're watching Business Best. Welcome back to Business Best and we are in discussion with Mustafa Nashuddin, the CEO of DAE and I think in the first segment, I think Mustafa, you gave a very good idea about what DAE is all about and the adventures that you all go on and how people can, you know, experience something different by engaging with you all. Now, for the viewers out there, how can they engage with you all? How can they enroll in your club and what are the other facilities that you all uh, provide to the people right. who enroll with you all? All right. So... Shna, there, there are a couple of ways that we actually engage with people who want to get into this lifestyle. One would be, as I said, we, uh, we engage in the marketing and after sales of all these products that we are the agents for in Sri Lanka. So one way would be if you're really sort of interested in the lifestyle and looking to get into it is you invest in your own jet ski or your own boat and then you, uh, you store it with us or, or, at, or at another property, whatever. Uh, but uh, the by purchasing and uh, by purchasing one of our brands, you actually become a part of what we call the DAE Explorers Club. Right now, we are actually focused on uh, all the water-based fun runs that we do. So all our clients who own jet skis are invited to join us on all these runs. What we you know, we try to organize one big run. What we have we have what we call the smaller runs and the larger runs. We try to organize the bigger sort of more extravagant extreme runs at least once a quarter so th those would be overnight trips uh, two to three days uh, where we take care of all the logistics including moving the jet skis from one place to another to the sites you're going to ride we do rec rec recce rides to check that the routes are safe because most of the most of these rides and experiences that we have done have never been done before uh, so there's actually no playbook to them there's a lot of challenges we face in actually getting putting all of this together uh, we have safety boats accompanying us. We make sure we have a team of technicians on site for each of these runs. We have lifeguards with us as well. So we take all of that into account. And uh, that is for owners of Sea Doo jet skis or one of our brands of boats. Then uh, another way, if you're looking to sort of just dip your toes into it, is obviously you can visit the marina and we do rent out these jet skis. Uh, we do water skiing, wakeboarding, tube rides, all the basic water sports you can do to sort of dip your feet and get yourself uh, sort of into the lifestyle a little by little if the, uh, on that side of things. The jet ski safaris as well, they can be booked online or through our website or I mean you can contact us directly to make a booking for that. Uh, we have a showroom uh, in Ratmalana where you can visit to view all our products, or, uh, all the jet skis, the can ATVs that we have in stock. Uh, yeah. All right. So now getting into the nautical tourism mm -hmm. side, especially the tourism side, mm -hmm. at this time we are going through an economic crisis as well. From where do you have you seen the demand coming from? Do you see like locals coming in and enrolling with you all or have you seen tourists also joining with you all? Okay. So this jet ski safari is actually a fairly new concept and this was the year 2022 that we actually hoped to launch it on Mars uh, and with a bang. Uh, but obviously given to the, due to the fuel constraints and the fuel issues now, uh, we have been uh, held back a little bit in terms of actual operations. But uh, we have seen 
a level of interest and at the moment it's we've, we've seen a mixed level of interest from foreigners and locals as well there's been quite a bit of local interest also and a little bit of foreign interest our core target segment obviously for this is more towards the tourism side of things we believe it's actually has a very high dollar earning income potential that we can bring to the country uh, what we're trying to do is create a overall product not your standard jet ski rider your standard uh, experience but something that's a bit more high end a bit more special uh, we're looking at setting up in a few areas uh, namely down south in Marissa and Gaul uh, and uh, in Kalpitiya towards uh, the south south coast season and then when it's during the east coast season we're looking at moving to and setting up two jet ski safaris in Trincomalee one in Trincomalee and one in Arugam Bay uh, uh, with different the, each of them will range from one to three hour excursions where you actually go and explore the country uh, we're looking at targeting a you know a hundred to two hundred dollar market which has been very successful in Maldives a lot of people traveling now they're looking for experiences they're looking for interesting things to do and that's the market that we're hoping to segment to actually supplement the uh, you know the general tourism industry in Sri Lanka and give people something new to do and experience so this industry is very hard to survive in, especially at the time of an economic crisis. So what were the main challenges that you faced so far? I think, uh, I mean, obviously the inability to operate because of the lack of fuel. I think that is something that has affected the industry as a whole. And then in general, we found, I mean, the last three years, starting from the Easter attacks to COVID, uh, has been made it very difficult for travel and the tourism sector as a whole and those are the general challenges that we face as well you know having the, the, the number of guests visiting has reduced and then of course now in the recent past the new fuel issue those have been our main two challenges how are you planning to rectify these issues and survive in the future uh, well uh, first of all I mean we're very hopeful and positive that Sri Lanka is going to come out of this better and stronger uh, in the near future we are trying to work with what we can we're working with the local uh, divisional secretariats and local regulations to try and procure as much fuel as we can and whatever is afforded to us to sort of operate uh, and we're hoping as things naturally progress and get better and as we come out of this situation when we do I, be I strongly believe that I mean tourism is one of the industries that is going to be the fastest to come back to sort of life because uh, I mean people are waiting to travel to Sri Lanka people are looking forward to travel after COVID a lot of people are looking to get out and uh, hopefully as soon as this fuel situation manages is so gets a bit better we're hoping for a big uptick in tourist arrivals Mustafa, now the marina that you all have, mm -hmm. you all are not the only marina here and there are other people also who are providing these services. Yes. Uh, maybe not, you know, the docking area, but also they're providing tours, mm -hmm. but not as extreme as you all. So what is the speciality that you all have to make the AE so special and why would people want to come there? I think one of the core, I mean, core strengths that we have is uh, we as I said, we do the A to Z of the brands that we represent, from actually selling the brands to the after sales and maintenance, to having the facility to uh, dock your jet skis and to operate this out of. Most people will have one of the three or two of the three at the max, whereas we are capable of offering the, the entire package. Uh, we also have invested significantly in safety and training uh, for our staff, our water sports operators, we have actually done trainings with Sri Lanka Life Saving. We have worked with the UN Office of Drugs and Crimes to, uh, they've done a special sea safety training where we actually have crew who are certified from there. I think it's probably the only place in Sri Lanka. And we are also the uh, work closely, we are the actually the only UIM affiliated training center in Sri Lanka. The UIM being the Union International Motonautic, which is the governing bo uh, body, global governing body for aqua biking or jet skiing. And we offer the trade begin. So they have a whole uh, 
gamut of training courses that they offer, which we are, which we are trainers who are trained to do, which we make sure our uh, operators are trained in as well. And I think we op uh, we try to give the best sort of overall service and experience possible. I think the main point here is the safety. Yes. Just people are worried that you might they might risk their lives or whether it's safe for their children or families or whatever. Mm. So my next question to you is, where do you see the tourism industry going in the future? Do you think that we will be able to recover from where we are now, considering the situation we are in? I strongly believe that uh, Sri Lanka has tremendous potential, not just in tourism, but many other segments uh, as a country as a whole. Uh, and I am very hopeful that steps will be taken in the right direction for us to recover from this. So, yeah. Why do you think uh, our Sri Lankan beaches are not promoted as much as, you know, if you consider any other Asian countries, let's say Thailand or anywhere, Maldives per se, people know these beaches. It's just that, you know, Sri Lanka does not do the adequate marketing, I feel, th for them to attract the amount of tourists or visitors to come into Sri Lanka. Why, what else do you think what do you think Sri Lanka can do to improve this? Again, I think, I mean, there are quite a few playbooks written and case studies for tourism, for example. I mean, you can take Bali, which is a great sort of, uh, I would say, an example for us. Instagram, social media was a fuel that lit the, f lit the fire, you know. Uh, we as well have got to sort of take progressively new uh, new m actions in terms of marketing the country, in terms of the products that we actually offer to guests. Uh, the, the I think it will re it requires an overall industry wide the industry coming together, coming together as one, and you know pushing the message, promoting our beaches promoting not just our beaches, I mean, we have so much to offer from cultural tourism to the hills. Uh, and I think another big part of tourism is actually adventure and activity, which is something we really need to work and offer and leverage the resources we have to try and offer as much unique experience as possible to attract guests here. And uh, I mean, of course, nautical tourism is a huge, huge opportunity for us. Because if you look at the Mediterranean or Croatia, for example, I think Croatia has something like 6,000 sailboats, which during season are fully booked. Sri Lanka has four to five sailboats. Uh, and this is very high value tourism, which is also the kind of tourism that is not easily available everywhere. So it tends to be sort of more out there. It tends to catch on on social media, gain publicity and traction for itself organically and naturally as well if we execute it properly. All right, Mustafa, we are running out of time okay. as well as my last question. What is your vision? Where do you see DAE going? Where do I see DAE going? Well, as I said, our vision, our vision is actually to be, you know, the explorer's passage for people. What we want to do is our, our passion is adventure, exploration, living this, you know, life. and. Our whole goal is to try and work with partners and brands that help us, uh, you know, give our customers new means of exploring, whether it be on the road or off the road or on the water. So I, I see us as being an adventure, uh, an adventure company. That's an adventure company, and I mean we're hoping to actually take this concept international and be in a few different markets over the next couple of years. All right. Thank all you right. then, Mustafa. Thank again, you. we've reached the end of our program as well, and I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Shanali. And that was our episode on Business Best. We will be back again next week with another product or service that would interest you. And certainly, I feel that DAE is best for the people who are looking for adventure, especially in water. So just in case you can watch us on there, you can always catch us on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash English. I'm Suzanne Shanali. Stay safe and have a good night.